What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Something, something, something. Hit the keys. And in today's video, I have 10 free plugins that every producer should download. Uh, make sure if you guys do like this content, though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button. Hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But let's go ahead and get right into these plugins. Push. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys. So the first free plugin that I feel like every producer should download before they purchase their next plugin, it's from Roland. It's called Concerto. So Concerto looks like this. This is one of the libraries in Concerto, uh, but there's a ton of different libraries. This is Terra Piano. It's a very nice stage piano. Um, it sounds like this. But with this plugin, it there is a ton of different like sample libraries and stuff like that for it. So like you can push uh, select instrument and you see I have a couple of different instruments here. So let's just go ahead and click on this one right here. And you'll see that there is a ton of uh, patches in here. So you got choirs, you got sleigh bells, you got castanets, you got church bells, marimbas, you got everything that you need. Now, I didn't mention this in the last video where I talked about the rolling cloud um, expiration of that. So let me talk about that real quick. In order to get this plugin, you're going to have to download the Rolling Cloud Manager. And then what you're going to have to do is you're gonna have to come over here to software and you're gonna to come to discontinued software. Now, just because it says it's discontinued doesn't mean that you can't download it. So the reason that they're saying it's discontinued is because it's discontinued from the Rolling Cloud subscription service, but it's still free for all of us. So all you have to do is come over here and then basically just hit this download button over here and download one library. When you download that one library, it will download the concerto for you. And then every time you download a library from there, it'll put it in the right place for you. So I would definitely recommend going to grab this one. All right, guys. And the second free plugin that I have for you guys today is called Vital. <laughs> so Vital is a spectral warping wavetable synth. This thing is awesome. This is definitely the best synth in my personal opinion. That's a free synth on the market right now. You can do anything that you wanna do with this synth. You can create any sound that you wanna create with this synth. Um, basically the synth sounds like this. Here's just a random preset. Um, with this, there is a bunch of different presets. So as you look, you get a bunch of different presets here. Um, and then what's also really nice about this plugin is that you can link any of these parameters anywhere. You can route anything anywhere in this plugin. And that's what makes it super dope because you can get pretty nice sounds and textures. Um, one thing that I do wanna show you guys here about Vital 2, what makes it very nice, is that there is a great community of producers who are putting out free presets for Vital. So as you can see here, there is just a ton, a ton of different um, free downloads for presets. So, you know, as you're looking here, um, you see uh, there's an ultimate list and there's just, you know, 12 different lists here. But if you scroll down on the website, you can just continue to scroll and see 300 free vital presets and Reddit. Just you can find pre free presets for this plugin anywhere. You just got to look for them. The third free plugin that I have for you guys today comes from Native Instruments. It's called Contact 6 Player. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what Contact looks like, but if not, this is what Contact looks like. This is the paid version, but there is a free version. And with the free version, you are gonna get the Contact Factory Library. The, the Factory Library is gonna come with all kinds of different stuff. So as you can see, you're gonna get all kinds of different stuff from a band, um, orchestral sounds. You're just gonna get a ton of sounds, choir sounds, synth sounds, urban beat sounds, so on and so forth. Um, so here's just one of the orchestral sounds that I have for this plugin right now. But how good does that sound? And so all the sounds sound pretty good. So then another thing that I wanna show you guys real quick is that there is also a ton of free contact libraries that are all really solid. So again, if we come over here and we check the internet, Google, um, our best friend, 
you can see here that there are a bunch of free contact libraries and you can find them like all this heaviosity stuff is really good um i know this rigid audio drum one is good um, there's, there is a ton of free, good contact libraries. And if you can't find any, come on over here to piano book. Cause in piano book, there is probably about 800 libraries for contact that you can find in here. And you can use all those as well and just get yourself some good sounds and improve your sounds without spending a buck. And coming up fourth, we have labs by Spitfire audio. So when you open up labs, it's going to look like this. Again, I'm sure a lot of you guys know what Labs is, um, but here is one of the presets in Lab. It's one of their newer um, presets. It's called Tape Piano. And so what's cool about Spitfire Audio Labs is that they are consistently updating their library banks and giving us new free sounds. Um, so if you're not aware of what um, Spitfire Audio is, um, they are a company that makes wonderful samples. And so if you look here, they have all of these libraries are free. So when you see it says install, it's free. So they have all of these free libraries that you can come in and that you can download and use in your music production. And they all sound wonderful. And what I would definitely recommend of everything in Spitfire Audio that you go download BBC Orchestra, because that's probably the best free orchestral library out there. All right, guys. So the next free plugin that I have for you guys today comes from the good people over at Thun and Ton. It's called X8 Lite. So X8 Lite looks like this. It is a light version of the full version of X8. Here's a little secret though. X8 is currently free. I don't remember what the promo code is off the top of my head, but I will definitely link it below so that if you guys were interested in this plugin, I know the full version is only going to be free for a couple more days at the time of the release of this video, um, but this X8 Lite is always free. So with this, it's got some pretty nice 808s in there um, and they sound like this. So as you can tell there, there is a ton of different 808s that you can use and they'll all be solid in your music productions. And the sixth free plugin that I have for you guys today comes from UJAM. It's called Finisher Micro. Uh, Finisher Micro looks like this. It is a very simple multi-effect plugin to use, but it's got like 24 solid effects in here that you can use. Um, so with this, it's basically a minimum maximum knob and then you can control the mode. So the mode basically takes you to a different effect. Um, you have input and output, and that's it. This controls it just like this controls it. Um, so with this, um, let's go ahead and hear that piano one more time so that uh, Terra Piano sounded like this. All right, so now once we throw Finisher Micro on there, um, we can get it to sound like this. So you can see that can do a huge transformation. I'll go through a few of the presets for you guys. I absolutely love that jet plane. Um, but there's just a ton of them, a ton of them. So I've talked about this before in the past. This is definitely a solid multi-effect plugin. One of my favorites, especially from the free side. All right, guys, and coming up seventh, we have Origin by Cymatics. Um, so Origin is a pretty solid multi-effect. Um, this kind of is similar to like RC20, um, as in it's supposed to give you that vintage analog feel. Um, so what this has is that saturation movement. Um, and then right here you have your noises. So you have cassette, reel to reel, vinyl. 
Um, and then you have chorus down here. Um, and then you also have a filter right here. Um, so let's go ahead and check this out real quick. So here again is what that piano sounded like. All right, so now with this, what we can do is we can turn some vinyl on. So you can see how it's giving you that vinyl. We can turn a little bit of saturation on. All right, we can give it some movement. So you can hear how it's making it sound super lo-fi and we can add some chorus as well. And so you'll notice here, there's different modes with all this stuff as well too. And then you can also mess with the frequencies as well. So that's pretty solid. Just like that, you got a regular stage piano to a lo-fi piano with no work at all. And coming in at eight, we have Cymatics again with Diablo Light. Uh, so when you open up Diablo Light, it is going to look like this. Obviously, it is a light version of the full Diablo, which is a transient shaper. Um, this plugin is designed to make your drums slap. Um, so basically, I have a little drum uh, loop I put together, just basic loop. It sounds like this. All right, so we can make it punch and we're gonna turn the soft clipper or the clipper to soft um, and listen to how it thumps. So you can clear as day hear the difference. And I don't know if you looked over here at the volume, it's not just giving it more gain either. And so that's the positive thing about Diablo Light. Very solid transient shaper. And coming up next in this list of free plugins that you should download, we have Expander. Um, so when you open up Expander, it's going to look like this. If you have Wider, um, which is a plugin that widens the sound in your stereo field, Expander does that, but it does that and it does so much more. So again, I'm just gonna play that little uh, terror piano, piano chords. Um, it sounds like this. All right, so now once we throw expander on, we can mess with a whole bunch of different controls in expander. Um, so we can add some width to it. So you can hear clear as day how it got wider. Um, this right here in the middle is the main volume, so it controls everything. Um, and then there's different sections as well. So you know you have your unison, um, you have an enhancer here as well, um, some chorus effect in here. I mean, this is a really solid um, widening plugin. So you can hear that chorus effect sounds really good in there. Um, then you have this unison as well. So it's pretty solid plug and again, as you can tell, this is what it sounded like before we threw that on there. And then this is what it sounds like after. So just a dramatic difference. Just another one that I definitely recommend going to Swoop. All right, guys, last but not least, we have Valhalla Super Massive. So when you open up Valhalla Super Massive, it does look like this. I still haven't updated to 2.0, I already know. 
Um, but this is the best delay slash reverb plugin out there. That's a free one. This is a really solid reverb right here. So again, that piano sounds like this. But now we can throw super massive on there. Now, what's cool about Valhalla Supermassive is you get a lot of control over your reverb and your delay, and you can warp it too, which makes it sound pretty fire. Um, but down here, you have different modes, and then you have a ton of presets over here as well. So, you know, if you hit Valhalla presets, so I guess when I transferred all the information over from one computer to another, it didn't transfer all my presets for Valhalla Supermassive. So, shame on me. Uh, but again, I would definitely recommend downloading this one. It is the best free reverb out there. Um, there is a ton of videos on there. I've done a review on this. You know, it's a very solid plugin. So um, that's basically the list that I have for you guys today. The dope thing about this list though, guys, that I wanna, I wanna make sure I hit home with is that this is a list of plugins that I use. All of these plugins were on my computer. I didn't delete them. I love them, so I keep them all. So I'm giving you a list of what I think is sincerely 10 plugins that every producer should download, check out, try and use. Uh, make sure if you guys do like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some hit the key.